How's it going everyone? It's your boy FreeMatt T2 and welcome back to another episode on my RW Swap Dark Seat. In today's episode, we'll be doing a walkthrough on how to install the Nikon Rotary Trigger Wheel and Low Profile Oil Pan. Nikon Rotary is a shop located in Russia. They are the only shop that has the most affordable RW Swap Kit for our cars. Without them, I probably would have broken my budget already. Make sure to check them out and their products at Nikon-Rotary.com. To install the new trigger wheel, you'll be needing to remove the crank pulley. There are four 10mm bolts holding it in. As you saw in my intro, I removed the flywheel cover to stop the flywheel from moving using a pry tool. Then you need to remove these studs on the front cover as Nikon Rotary provides new bolts in the kit. Included with the trigger wheel are spacers, washers and bolts, bracket for the ESS position sensor, and the trigger wheel itself. But as you notice, there are no timing marks on the trigger wheel. I had to reach out to Nikon Rotary about that, so just use my video to properly mark the zero degree. I do wish they provided instructions with their products. The trigger wheel was pretty straightforward to install, but their oil pan was not. I'll explain that in a bit. P.S. For my female subscribers, let me know in the comments below if I did this nail polishing thing properly. Here is how to assemble the trigger wheel kit. First, mate the bracket with the sensor. Then add the bolts on both sides. The longest spacer goes on the right, and the shortest one goes on the left. Now it's time to bolt down the ESS position sensor. For mounting the trigger wheel, just make sure your new marking is facing forward. You won't mess this part up as there are guides on the trigger wheel. Torque down the pulley bolts to 69 to 95 inch pounds. Here are some close-up pictures of the installation. As you saw, you'll need to remove the cross member in order to remove the oil pan. So I'm using my hoist to lift my motor while I have a jack below the transmission for safety. If you had an oil pan brace as I did on your motor, this will not work with the Nikon Rotary oil pan, but it's not needed because Nikon Rotary's oil pan is really thick. With the oil pan, you will be getting a spacer for the oil pickup tube, nuts, washer, and bolts. I won't be using the bolts provided and will just be using my original ones. 
For a clean installation, I just bought a new RX-8 pickup tube as they are only $35 from Atkins Rotary. So this is where I wish Nikon Rotary provided instructions. As you can see here, the bolt holes don't line up. So I assume that the holes on the spacer needs to be enlarged. Do not follow what I did. It's actually a lot simpler than that. Time to start cleaning the old silicone. I know a lot of people prefer to just use silicone only on the oil pan, but in my opinion, it makes cleaning a lot harder down the road. I like using a gasket and coating it with silicone on both sides to get a perfect seal. I'll show you guys in a bit. Pro tip, when you remove the pickup tube, make sure that the gasket did not stick to the block. So again, do not enlarge the holes on the spacer as I am showing here, but follow how to assemble the pickup tube. It's pretty straightforward, one bolt on each side, followed by the spacer itself, make sure that your pickup tube came with an o-ring gasket. Then the REW pickup tube gasket. I had to make mines as I didn't want to special order it. Wanted to finish this video for you guys. Another reason that I wish this kit came with instructions. I didn't know which way to mount the oil level sensor and I hope I got it right. Leave a comment below if you think so. I'm using a hammer to tap the clip in place. Here's the oil level sensor fully installed. This is the part I knew something wasn't right. The pickup tube was not bolting in. Eventually, I figured it out. Comparing the holes and lining up the REW pickup tube with the RX-8 one, as you can see, the inner spacers make the holes not line up properly. My only thoughts to getting this to work is removing the spacers. So if you're watching this Nikon Rotary, if you could confirm this is the right way to do it. It's pretty easy popping the spacers out. Just give it a little force and they should come out easy. This is how it looks without them. Now we got that figured out, let's finally get this bolted up. And here's the pickup tube finally mounted. It's finally time to mount the oil pan in place, but first we gotta put our gasket. Lightly coat the oil pan first with silicone.
then put the gasket on. And lastly, another light coat on top of the gasket. Before installing the oil pan, make sure that the oil level sensor wire is mounted in its notch. Off camera, I had to remove the oil pan again and again just to see if it's there. I do gotta say, this impact gun made this installation easy. So if you're doing this project yourself, make sure to invest in one. That about wraps up installation, now time to showcase the final product. I got goals to chase, I got roads to pay. Not yet where I wanna be, but I got close today. I went ghost today, I got least to say. I be focused on these dreams like I didn't sleep today. Y'all can be so amazed, y'all ain't seen nothing like this. No matter how much I fight this, I'm holding tight like a vice grip. Only right that I write this, feel the keys like a typist. You know I'm all in, all in, radical On the beat, I'm magical They said I should be average Though I told them that I had to